It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 18th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather unsettled, stormy at times for the next five or six days, maybe some severe weather along the way. Let's dive in and talk about it. We'll start with the water vapor satellite view this afternoon. Upper low is located west of the state that will be approaching increasing rain and storms by tomorrow. That's the visible satellite view, and you can see that the sky is mostly cloudy through much of central Alabama, some breaks in the overcast down to the south. And it's a little cooler today. No 70s on the board for a change. Birmingham 62, only upper 50s up in the Tennessee Valley. But that front will be moving back as a warm front tonight and tomorrow, so we stay in fairly mild air for this time of the year. Colder up north, Nashville 49, St. Louis 48. And the coldest air back in the northwestern United States. Up on the watch warning map, unsettled conditions in the western states. Many winter storm watches, warnings, winter weather advisories there. The east is fairly quiet. That's the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. A marginal risk around Houston and Lake Charles. Tomorrow, a marginal risk for much of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. And we could see a few strong storms late tomorrow and tomorrow night, as you'll see. And again, this is the lowest in severe weather threat. I think the main issue will be heavy rain and maybe some gusty winds. Day three, this is Friday, a marginal risk of severe weather. Parts of Louisiana, southeast Texas, south Mississippi. Day four, this is Saturday as the weekend begins. A chance of severe storms over about the southern two-thirds of the state. And on day five, which is Sunday, a chance of severe storms. Again, for parts of central and south Alabama. And again, that might be the more potent severe weather threat. We'll take a look at that in detail in just a moment. Here is the rain for the next seven days. Valid through Wednesday morning of next week. Good beneficial rain. Rain amounts here between three and four inches likely. And look at the numbers out west, big rains for much of California where they need the rain as well. So model fans, here we go, the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. You can see the upper trough getting closer. Down below that, rain will likely invade uh, during the day tomorrow. And this is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. At that point, rain and storm should be relatively widespread. This is the instability at 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, and the GFS not as robust as we've seen some of the other runs, suggesting the instability value is fairly marginal, and if the rain moves in early in the day, that will certainly limit the buoyancy of the atmosphere. Shear values are fairly high. This is the storm relative helicity between 0 and 3 kilometers. And this is a forecast sounding tomorrow evening. And again, over there in the left in the skew T plot, you can see that it's a fairly saturated sounding. The green, the red lines are close together. You typically want to see a lot of dry air in the mid-levels for a big severe weather day. So, uh, And this is the STP, the significant tornado parameter, valid tomorrow uh, evening at 9 o'clock. And numbers have come down a bit. So as stated by the SBC, I think it's a good call, a marginal severe weather threat. Uh, maybe some gusty winds, small hail, and heavy rain. Uh, the tornado th chance is not zero, but I'd say it's pretty small here. But as always, with storms, you have to expect the unexpected, so we will be watching carefully one way or the other. Now, Friday, that wave is on by. The sky will stay cloudy. Maybe the sun breaks through in a, uh, by afternoon in spots, and the high will be around 70. Saturday, as the weekend begins... Another trough, a deep one west of the state. Down below that, moisture increases. A surface low deepens over the Texas panhandle. Uh, the air becomes pretty unstable Saturday. This is the surface-based cape at noon, and those numbers exceed 1,500 joules even up into north Alabama. The amount's in excess of 2,000 joules per kilogram over southwest Alabama. So in the unstable air, there could be some strong, maybe severe storms Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. And then Sunday, a 992 millibar low is located near Memphis. And again, that's where the dynamic support seems to be better. But on this run, the instability values are lower on Sunday. So again, for the weekend, we have more questions than answers. And if you've heard me say here many times, we have to get through the event tomorrow night, look at the state of the atmosphere, and then we can really focus in on the weekend. But just be aware, we have the chance of strong to severe storms over the weekend, maybe Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, and Sunday as well. So just stay tuned for that. 
Monday, boy, look at that surface low. That thing is 985 millibars near Asheville, North Carolina. That's very intense. Strong winds on the backside of that. It'll pull down much colder air. Highs will drop in the low and mid-50s. Clouds wrap around moisture, maybe some light rain. Tuesday, that deep surface low moves away. A new surface low is over Kansas. Big snows, if this is right, for parts of the high plains. But Tuesday for us, we're in between. Dry, high would be in the low 60s. And a week from today, this is Wednesday the 25th, another trough to the west. But this time, the cold front trailing that surface low doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with. And this is the end of the forecast period. Saturday the 28th, a very deep trough over the east. Much colder air blowing in. And you can see that reflected in the numbers. A highs by the end of next week dropping in the 40s and lows dropping in the 20s. And as we have been saying, winter has a long way to go. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Obviously, I'm out of town on a business trip. Megan Thomas will have the TV coverage this evening. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.